Hello everyone. So good morning to everybody. So today my topic is just to highlight where to disseminate our knowledge. OK, when use for dissemination of your uh, knowledge or your publication or your uh, whatever the papers you are writing. So that is generals are as a book publishers. So there are many types of book publishers, general publishers. For example, let us classify the publishers first. So what are their business models? So how they will operate? So first is the types of your publishers. OK, uh, who will publish? What type of books? OK, what type of journal articles they will publish? What types of monographs they will publish? And everything I'm going to discuss here. So first is the types of publishers. So based on their business models, they are classified into two types of publishers. One is for profit organizations and another one is not for profit organization. We all know uh, this one for profit means they will operate entirely for the profit, though they are safeguarding the uh, scientific literature, but they are entirely operated for the uh, profit itself. OK, they will sell their all the articles and everything. OK, next one is a not for profit. So usually they will not look for the profits and everything, but they will just survive on their own. OK, whatever the subscriptions they will get at nominal charges, they will survive on their own. That is not for profit. So what are their organizations which are operating for profit business model like elsewhere? The most popular and world renowned publisher is elsewhere. The next comes the Springer okay, or Springer nature. Then Blackwell Publishing Company. Then Willey, John Willey and Sons, that popularly known as Willey. Then Sage Generals, then MDPA Publications and Taylor and Francis. All these are the publications which are publishers, which will publish many of the books, many of the book series, many of the journal articles. Many journals will be listed under these publishers. These are the very, very strong and very strong based publishers which are operating for the for profit, uh, for profit business model. Then coming next to the business model of not for profit, usually this will be an American Chemical Society. Very, very, very good publisher. It is a world renowned publishers uh, in the US. Then in the European countries like a Royal Society of Chemistry, which is popularly known as RSC. Then next one is the IEEE, for, especially for the electrical and electronics people okay, or computer science people. This IEEE is a very renowned name. That is Institute of Ele Electrical and Electronics Engineers. So this is also a not for profit models. They will operate on the not for profit models. The next, if you see for the not for profit models also, there are uh, uh, some universities which are working which are working towards the uh, publishing, which are based on the non-profit model, like Oxford University Press, then Cambridge University Press, and University of Chicago Press. These are all the presses which will just publish their books or uh, the other candidate books also, not from uh, uh, not necessarily from their own university, but from the other university, from uh, other channels also, they will try to publish. And there are many journals which are also listed in this particular Oxford University Press or Cambridge University Press and Ch uh, University of Chicago Press. So all these are the uh, journals or the publishers which are operating for profit and not for profit society. Then based on the uh, publishing model, what type of publishing model? So these publishers are divided into many times like first one is a subscription model so what is this subscription model so subscription model is nothing but whatever the articles if you, uh, which you are accessing through your remote location to your some device like a laptop or your pc or a mobile or something like that so you will be paying some standard subscription like as an individual if i need to access some article so what i will do i will pay some uh, n number of dollars which has been uh, given by that particular publisher okay that i have to pay for each article or some rental purpose article so for the uh, say, for example, for 20 days or for 30 days based on that uh, uh, payment, they will offer us that article for only 20 days or 30 days. OK, or otherwise, if you are a big university or if you are a big college, what happens? Usually your university or a college will pay for you. OK, on behalf of you, the list of generals or the list of the publishers which are offering all the articles related to your core sectors will be uh, uh, will be just uh, subscribed by your university for your department or for you itself, for your scientists, for your professors. They will be subscribing through your library, main library. So that is called as a subscription base. Usually this will be an yearly subscriptions. So yearly, whatever the uh, journals you are demanding, whatever the series you are demanding, whatever the books you are demanding, all this will be free only through your IP address of your college. Why? Because that IP addresses, that domain names are already registered in the publisher's website or 
in the publishers uh, well noted in the publisher uh, subscription model there you can easily access from the remote location of your own college ip address so that is a subscription base usually they will be renew uh, yearly basis okay your standard amount of subscription amount will be there based on the content which you are which you are demanding so based on that one they will be supplying you some bill that bills will be usually paid yearly basis so that is called as a subscription based the next one is the open access or full open access so what does that mean open access open access as the name suggests it is accessible openly to everybody so that is called as an open access so fully what happens usually when your article has been subjected or manuscript has been subjected to peer review so after peer review if your manuscripts have been found that it is publishable so usually this general publisher will demand some money from you from the particular uh, particular scientist or a professor or a particular author who has submitted this particular manuscript to the general so when you like to uh, offer your article to be an open access then a normal pocket maybe from your funders pocket maybe from your uh, college uh, college accounts so you will try to pay that as an article charges so then from the day one itself whenever the article has been accepted and published online so that will be accessible clearly to everybody without any payment so basically what does it mean to say in the open access means the scientist or the author who are who is submitting the article he will pay the amount for uh, uh, for releasing your article to be openly available for everybody whereas in the subscription model only the particular type of uh, people who can access through that one or you need to pay that uh, uh, you need to pay immediately for the single article or the uh, batch of the articles whole of the series you have to pay like that so that's the difference here the next one is a combined or hybrid open access or hybrid uh, subscription generals there are uh, many articles okay there are many articles for example let us say someone will be the open access articles someone will be the subscription models so generals usually uh, they, they what happens uh, nowadays uh, if entirely if the general is adopting entirely an open access policy or if the general is adopting entirely a subscription based policy so what is the difference so if the general is adopting an entirely subscription based policy means uh, now there is a huge criticism that subscription based policy generals they are charging heavily so many of the universities around the world are boycotting this type of generals and uh, in the meantime they are just suggesting to go for the open access generals so let us take for the example in the reverse way so in india what happens open access is just open access general it just can be related to the predatory generals why because during the uh, uh, years like from 2008 to 16 so there are many uh, types of generals which are predatory or they are just offering and publication for only just to you if you are paying 3000 or 10000 something in between that then they are immediately publishing your article and releasing online so those are not at all subjected to any peer review that's why they are called as a predatory generals so that's why in some part of the world so open access is considered as a predatory in some part of the world subscription based generals are considered as overly charged that's why in order to balance these two business models like subscription based model and open access models generals are usually adopting a combined uh, combined based model that is subscription also and open access also so how this generals will work so for example if i am a author i am submitting an article or a manuscript to the general for the peer review after subjecting it to a peer review there will be an option that will be given by the publisher to the author whether you want to pay for that particular publication so that it can be released to open access or whether you, you want to go for the article as a subscription based model means you you need not to pay in the subscription model okay then if i as a author after my article has been accepted i have a choice that if the funding is available with me then i will pay for my article and ask the publisher to release my article openly or otherwise if i don't have a money i just tell the uh, publisher that i don't share. okay i don't want to go for the uh, go for the open access model since i don't have a uh, money or i don't have any interest in uh, in just releasing that article openly but you just publish in a subscription model then the same general which is earlier which used to operate as a subscription or open access now it is uh, it is just operating a twin a dual type of role it is playing 
one is a combined uh, one is a hybrid open access model that is uh, like a subscription also and open access also depending on the particular author which uh, a choice of the other depending on the particular choice of the other that uh, general is working okay so nowadays the many journals majority of the generals are adopting this hybrid open access policy or hybrid subscription general policy means they will go according to the uh, particular uh, choice of the author whether you want to pay or whether you want to go for the subscription model so the last one comes to the predatory generals so usually in our india this predatory generals are mushrooming okay it, uh, it, is, it has been mushrooming so in the ugc care list also what happens if you see uh, if the general is listed in this particular year in the next year it will not be there why because the ugc care list itself is a dynamic in nature so every year they will be scrutinizing the committee will be scrutinizing the generals if their uh, uh, policies are not good it will be just thrown out of the list ugc care list so that's why the general which is there in the current year which will not be there in the next year if it is a it is a predatory general so that's why i request the people i request the scientists or the uh, professors or the others particularly so don't go for the predatory generals why because it's it will waste it will waste entirely your efforts will be waste your money will be waste this are the generals which will just take some money from you without any peer review they will just convert that article or a manuscript into some uh, a format a good format and just release a pdf in the online of their website so without any indexing services so indexing services will define a quality of the general so earlier we we have seen that one so science citation index especially for the science people science citation indexing service which is offered by the clarivate analytics or for the social sciences people like a social science citation index that is ssci or the for the arts and humanities like ahcei that is arts and humanities citation index these are the good citation indexes if the generals is listed in this following citation indexes those are very very good very very good generals why because clarivate analytics is a company which will scrutinize their article which will scrutinize their policy how they are adopting what is their acceptance ratio so what is the uh, policy of the general after scrutinizing only they will be incorporating that particular good generals in their particular indexing service and next comes the quality which is a large world's large database holding company the scopus that is published by elsevier the next is the second quality articles we can say okay so in the predatory generals itself it will not contain any type of indexing services just they will say google indexed or something else index or something x y z index so this will not have any reliability that indexing services only just they will take some 3000 to 10000 they will charge money from you and convert your paper uh, your manuscript into some uh, a good format as per the requirement of the particular general and release the pdf into the particular uh, website of that general so that's are entirely the predatory generals then moreover i just want to highlight this predatory generals here and request every other not to go for the predatory generals though though it will take some time to publish in a quality generals but the outcome will be very 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 fruit 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 why because when the general article has been re rejected in one uh, general and you can submit to the n number of generals which are there in the particular subject okay we need not to worry about the uh, peer review process usually peer review is not nothing to uh, just reject your article it is just to improve your article the content of the article whether there are some errors in the article to correct that uh, errors in the articles only peer review will be offered usually this will be adopting a positive criticism not a negative criticism if the reviewers are well trained they will give you a positive feedback to you positive positively criticize you they will not go in any harsh type of comments they will not criticize negatively about your article okay they they have done uh, something negatively also you take it positively and just revise your manuscript and submit to the next general there are n number of generals in the earlier good olden days there are only few generals now there are many generals are there you can submit if general article has been rejected in that particular general just go for the next general whatever the articles which have been rejected there may be some chances there may be some chances that editor has been given some suggestions or the reviewer has been given some suggestions just try to incorporate if they are relevant that suggestions are relevant just try to incorporate into your article and revise the article and send it to the some good general then it will be published the same case same case example i just want to take my own example during my phd studies what happened 
I have submitted my article to the one wonderful elsewhere general. OK, wonderful elsewhere general. Suddenly what happens? It, ha it has been rejected within an, uh, half an hour and they suggested that it is out of scope of the uh, our article, but that editor, he was very good editor. Just he submitted to go for the, some other general, which is well reputed, which is the first uh, uh, general in the world for our particular branch of chemical engineering. So that general uh, having some uh, doubts in my mind itself, I just submitted that article to that particular general, which has been suggested by the previous uh, rejected articles uh, general editor. Then what happens there? The miracle happens. So suddenly after a, uh, a one revision itself from the reviewers, then my paper got accepted within two months. So that's a miracle happened with me itself. So I request everybody to just go for the good generals, whether it may be a subscription based or open access, but it should be abstract and indexed in good, good services like it has to be indexed and abstracted in a clarivate analytics SCA index that is science citation index or social science citation index that is SSCI or arts and humanity citation index like AHCI or nowadays the new type of uh, indexing services has been started that is emerging source citation index ESCI it is called. So what is what does that means the emerging source citation index? So generals which are doing very well, which are following the quality policies. So usually will be considered their citations are considered in terms of a uh, private analytics indexing services. So they will be observing that ESCI uh, indexed general for uh, quite a few time. OK, a uh, few moments of the time they will observe that general if the same policies or same good policies are adopting by the particular general after one or two years, it will be just sent to the SCI index in general that is science citation index generals. So then the impact factor will come. Remember here only the generals which are listed in the SSCI, SCI or ASCI. These are the generals only will have a true impact factor published every year in the month of July in the month of July by the Clarivate Analytics. Earlier, this business was uh, used to be taken care by Thomson Reuters. Now it was the business model of Clarivate Analytics. So this Clarivate Analytics will yearly publish the true impact factors. So no matter what the impact factor which has been listed in that particular general website, you cannot believe that one. If the impact factor has been given by the Clarivate Analytics only, that is a true impact factor which is accepted throughout the world. So that's for sure. So I request every one of you just go for the good generals, avoid the predatory generals, avoid the paid publications. OK, only 3000 and 4000 and just publish your uh, uh, unnecessary articles making uh, uh, and that much effort in doing the experiments and writing the article. Just going for the predatory generals will not give you a fruitful uh, solution for that one, fruitful outcome for that one. So that's why. So everybody has to concentrate only on a good indexing services of our generals. OK, the, the generals which are in good indexing services. OK, second comes the quality as a scopus. So go for the scopus generals also, which are not at all paid. OK, not at all a paid generals or subscription based generals. You can go in the in, uh, in terms of uh, this scopus based scopus database. OK, then uh, thank you for listening. So.